friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on September 16th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. And welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes and volcanoes and a look at world weather. Starting out here, looking at our sun in the last 48 hours. 304 angstroms. We did have a near X-class solar flare in the departing position. So on the right-hand side, watch for that flash right there. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, we do have that large sunspot turning in 3088. A lot of plasma associated here. Look at the heliosphere. Definitely something building again. So heads up, everybody. This is going to be in an earth-facing position for the next three days. Looking at the last 48 hours outgoing. Watch for the solar flash on the left-hand side. Near X-class solar flare after pretty sizable CME with the plasma filament eruption yesterday. Another closer look at the region that fired off the near X-class flare. Boom, right there. Amazing images here as well. Another building sunspot in behind that. Very active region. Much love and I want to welcome all of the new followers today. Welcome to the family. Staying aware and prepared. Looking at multi-spectrum here. 3088 showing a lot of activity. And as well the antipodal region. Just releasing a near X-class solar flare. 171 angstroms, watching the plasma loops dance around the surface of our sun during this solar cycle 25, and as well 193 angstroms here, where we show the coronal holes, darkened regions, cooled regions of the surface of our sun. So we are expecting a space weather event pretty much from September 18th until about the 23rd as we have now three events on their way. Having a look here at the solar x-ray flux showing that large near x-class solar flare after seeing about four or five c-class flares the last 48 hours. Solar proton flux slightly raised, geomagnetic activity slightly low. Showing here the DRAP absorption map, showing the cosmic energy penetrating our planet right there over Africa today. 4.8 earthquake, the Congo region. Looking at the ISWA space prediction spiral, showing that large blast taking off towards Mars as well stereo B, and it is set to give us a glancing blow on the 18th. Our real-time solar wind right now sitting at about 348 kilometers, 366 kilometers per second. Noting here that it jumped up to about 600 for a quick moment, right as things were changing. Schumann resonance for today still not showing any telemetry from the 9th. Earthquakes for the today, the last 24 hours, are sitting at about 230 earthquakes across the USGS. We're going to start out here with the most recent, 4.5 in Greece, 48 kilometer depth. As well here, 4.6, the Democratic Republic of, of Congo, 4.8 here in Yemen, <clears throat> 4.6, Mid-Atlantic Ridge, Pretty quiet considering through South America. Most of those earthquakes were yesterday. Caribbean plate, definitely on high alert. 4.7 there in Mexico today, 35 kilometer depth. As well, North American plate, not much to report except this 4.4 Langlois, Oregon reported yesterday. And swarming continued through Texas, White City, New Mexico. Alaska seeing a 4.6, 234 kilometer depth. 5.1 Federated States of Micronesia today, 
and then very interesting here, a couple sizable earthquakes, Indonesia, Philippines, and as well, Solomon Islands, where we saw that large 7.0 earthquake. Here's our deepest earthquake today, 4.7, 231 kilometer depth, Tonga region. It's well notable here, 4.0 in Thang, India, reported today. And that's the last 24 hours. Give you a quick glance at the last seven days for earthquakes across the world. Take a quick moment to thank everybody for tuning in, staying aware and prepared with daily events worldwide. Please don't forget to hit the like button if you are enjoying these updates. And as well, maybe share with your friends and family. Much love. God bless. Stay aware and prepared. Now let's get to weather. Looking here, satellite imagery over typhoon in the west pacific which is heading towards japan islands long range forecast showing a drenching and tightly whipped typhoon towards the coastline showing here the windy forecast model this is the winds over the next few days windy.com looks like it'll be making landfall sunday around lunchtime and the eye of this typhoon is going to be right over the island of Japan so thoughts and prayers going out to everybody in Japan as this is going to be a very large typhoon event also we have the remnants of typhoon Murbach who's in this long range forecast heading towards Alaska You can see there, very large low pressure system in between Canada and Russia, or sorry, the United States and Russia heading up into Alaska. And then watch for this low to hit the polar vortex and then start regaining strength over the Hudson Bay by Wednesday into Thursday. Things are going to really cool down across eastern Canada. Look at the size of this low. Pretty much half the size of Canada. Wow. And then Hurricane Fiona will be making landfall. Looks like most likely South Carolina, North Carolina coastline. Showing tropical depression here as it makes landfall over Puerto Rico Saturday. Then Heads up into the Bahamas by Thursday, Friday, starts to regain strength and then takes a northwest pass path towards the east coast, South Carolina, North Carolina. So watch out, heads and friends and family in the United States. Hurricane Fiona is very much alive and on its way to your coastline. Another tropical system there spinning off the coast of Mexico and in the long range, another tropical system here developing off the coast of Africa. Definitely going to have to tune in daily to see because things can change dramatically. Overlooking North America, lots of moisture here as a low is sent down the west coast. Going to make landfall northern California by Thursday, Friday. As well, we've got some rain heading over through Ontario. Watch as that cold front comes in. We're going to have some scattered thunderstorms through Ontario. And as well, Manitoba border and northeastern parts of the United States. And then watch by Wednesday, Thursday as that low centers itself over the Atlantic provinces. Overlooking South America, no major changes coming to you. Daily evaporation rains could have some extreme weather through the border of Argentina and Brazil. Overlooking Europe and Africa, gray days ahead of you as you still have that low spinning over Sweden, Finland. Waves of moisture continue on over the next few days. 
Lots of rain tucked up into India, Myanmar. As well, look at the forecast here for typhoon for Japan. Quick look at Australia weather. As you've got a low that's tucked just southeast of you guys. And an even bigger one coming by Tuesday to Wednesday. Watch for rain and scattered thunderstorms to move into eastern parts of Australia, Victoria, New South Wales. And then more waves of moisture as another low comes in from the south. I wanted to show you here the wave surge, which is expected and forecasted here for the parts of Australia. South coast of Australia looking at six meter waves, storm surge. And in the long range, look at the big one coming. Looking at about seven to eight meter storm surge through the south coast of Australia. As well, noting Hurricane Fiona as it will be making landfall Saturday into Sunday. Thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Much love. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. We'll see you next video now. Bye-bye. Please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.